Hello, good beans, and welcome back to Midnight Requiem. Today, we'll be talking about Albert Vincio Baz, an American American physicist, co invented the X ray reflection microscope with Stanford physics professor Paul Kirkpatrick in 1948. Baz, who worked with and taught for the United Nations Educational, Scientific, and Cultural Organization, UNESCO, is also the father of famed folk music singer Juan Baz. The Baz X-ray reflection microscope uses X-rays to produce enlarged images of small or distant objects. The device has been used to examine living cells and to study galaxies. Its creation opened up the branch of X-ray optics. Albert Baz, a pioneer in X-ray optics and co-developer of the X-ray reflection microscope, died of natural causes on March 20th, 2007 in Redwood City, California. In addition to being a noted physicist, Albert was a passionate humanitarian and educator. Albert was born in Puebla, Mexico on November 15, 1912. When he was two years old, his family moved to Brooklyn, New York. He graduated with a bachelor's degree in mathematics from Drew University in 1933 and a master's in mathematics from Cyrix University in 1935. From 1940 to 1944, Albert taught at Wagner College at Staten Island, where he became a full professor. In 1944, he moved to Stanford University. There, he taught undergraduate courses in physics and mathematics. After World War II, he decided to switch from mathematics to physics for his PhD with Paul Kirkpatrick. As his research professor, he wrote his thesis, Principles of X-ray Optics and Development of a Single-Stage X-ray Microscope. He received his PhD in 1950. In 1948, Albert and Kirkpatrick developed the theory of using grazing incidence mirrors to focus x-rays. For their focusing geometry, they envisioned two such mirrors mounted per perpendicular to one another to overcome limitations of conventional optical systems. Unfortunately, developing a usable instrument was not possible because high-quality mirrors and intense x-ray sources were not available. However, the focusing geometry named in the research team's honors the Kirkpatrick's bias configuration is now widely used at synchrotron facilities in some astrophysics experiments too. Produce high intensity focused X ray beams smaller than 1 um square with a wide energy band pass. During a brief stint, at the Cornell Aeronautical Laboratory in Buffalo, New York in 1950, Albert found he was uneasy doing operation research for a classified U.S. Navy project. He soon moved to the University of Redlands in California, where he continued his research on X-ray optics, realizing the potential of Fresnel zone plates for high-resolution microscopy and telescope imaging with soft x-rays and extreme UV radiation. In 1952, he outlined the theoretical advantage and method of fabrication. Later in 1962, he published in the Journal of the Optical Society of America a paper demonstrating the fabrication of zone plates and the achievement of diffraction limited resolution in the UV. Albert was a Quaker and had a passionate interest in science education. In 1951, he combined the two when he went to Iraq for a year under the auspices of the UN Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization UNESCO to help establish the departments of physics, chemistry and biology at Baghdad University with his wife, Joanne. He co-authored the book A Year in Baghdad. J. Daniels, 1988, which recalls the challenges of raising three daughters in a startlingly different environment. In 1956, Albert returned to Stanford where he began working with MIT physics professor Gerald Zacharias, who had formed the Physics Science Study Committee 
The PSSC was an effort to reshape the way physics was taught in high schools. In 1958, Albert moved his family to Cambridge, Massachusetts and began working at the Smithsonian Astrophysical Laboratory. From 1961 to 1967, I was the first head of the Division of Science Teaching at UNESCO in Paris, where he helped develop projects in the basic science in Asia, Africa, Latin America, and Arab states. He made a series of almost 100 films on physics principles for the Encyclopedia Britannica Educational Corporation from 1967 to 1974. He wrote an undergraduate physics textbook, The New College Physics, A Spiral Approach, W.H. Freeman, 1967. Additionally, he was a chairman of the Commission on the Teaching of Science for the International Council of Scientific Unions and of the Commission on Education for the International Union for Conservation of Nature and Natural Resources. Albert liked to tell how surprised he was when he as he was registering for a physics conference in Geneva, Switzerland. In 1963, he was asked, are you the father of folk singer Joanne Baz? His daughter had just been on the cover of the Time magazine. From then on, it was often the first question he was asked, even at physics conferences. A lifelong pacifist, Albert opposed both the nuclear weapons buildup of the 1950s and later the Vietnam War. He worked with many peace and humanitarian programs. After his retirement, he served as president of Vivamos Mejor North America, Let Us Live Better, which strives to improve the quality of life in Latin America through science-based education and community development projects. When Albert gave talks to students, he often mentioned the importance of the three C's, curiosity, creativity, and compassion. His many friends felt that he embodied those qualities, and we miss his stimulating ideas and gentle ways. As always, my good being, be loving and caring to each other. Please make sure to like the video, subscribe, and leave comments. Have a wonderful day.